These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. I'm gonna do my review for the Blaze Solo, sorry, my vapes. Blaze Solo, RTA, review a design. 100% leak proof. Although he doesn't really talk like that so much anymore. I gotta work on my mic vapes impression, but here it is. It's in the middle of getting re-wicked because I've just been using the crap out of it and I just wanna re-wick it and keep using it. So it's sitting here all rinsed out. We'll start from the bottom up, I guess. The deck, it's got that nice side in sort of slotted holes. They, I, I would normally call this honeycomb but it doesn't exactly look like honeycomb, but we'll call it honeycomb smoothed out airflow. It's a postless deck, so the leads go straight down into the bottom. Eight millimeters is where I ended up cutting these. Eight millimeter leads. The rest is kind of just a one piece chimney. There's an airflow control up here at the top. When I first got this, this airflow control was excessively difficult to turn, but over time, like I predicted with a little bit of, you know, liquid and or moisture in there, gets gliding real nice and easy. Still feels fairly firm. I do it at about there. I knock off these two holes, it stays there. Now I'm gonna use the bubble glass on here and it's real easy to just press on, but there is a, what I'm assuming is a TPD compliant, uh, you know, straight glass that's gonna limit the mill capacity. Some nice big kidney shaped juice fill holes there and then it's a really standard sort of three quarter turn top cap. I pulled some cotton through here and this is one of those things, you know, it kind of just takes practice, maybe a little bit of finesse, but I want it to be snug, but not too snug. I don't want it to move my coil, but I also want it to feel snug through there. This kind of honestly feels perfect. I'm also going to cut these much longer than I initially did. I'm gonna end up ultimately cutting these maybe flush with the, the outer rim right here. So I'm also just gonna thin out my wicks a little bit, being just really slow and careful not to mess around with the integrity of my overall wick. I don't want to pull it out by accident. So I trim them back down to the edge of the outer rim right here. And you can kind of see, I'm just going to push these back. There's a little hole right there. It's just a put, just put. And that right there is kind of all I could ask for. The tips, like I said, of my cotton are just barely, barely hanging on to the inside of that hole. And they are nice and thinned out. I have a lot of confidence in this wicking right now. Same liquid as before is going on the inside. It's the gray greatest thing of all time. Yeah, and after we vapors the rest of the tank, we already put it all together. We just need to thread it down. There is a right and wrong way to do this, but the easiest way I've found to do it is I just put it right here. I twist it until I feel it drop down into the notches. Then I can thread it down the rest of the way. Give it a blare. Oh, yes. Blaze Solo. Digging it. There it is. It's full. It's already... You can see there's a bubble already from the Wiccan. Let's get back out to normal view. I'm gonna hand out some banana stickers. Here's the thing, the, the Blaze Solo RTA, I think, is just gonna become an RTA that I just use now. I'm enjoying literally everything about it. This is the smoothest top airflow on an RTA I think I've ever had. It's gotta be that honeycomb in there. It just smooths the crap out of it. It is great. The flavor is awesome. The build deck is easy. I used eight millimeter clips. I know Mike says six. Six, I don't know, it just looked really low. Seven looked too low. Maybe I can experiment with that later, but I found eight to be just fine. The first time I wicked this, and it was on a live stream on Twitch, I, I way over wicked it way over wicked it and it just went dry, dry, dry. And so that got me paranoid, you know, about the wicking in this. And so the next time I did it, I did it way, way, way too thin. And even in this video, what I did now is just that maybe I went a little bit overboard with the thinning and like the precision of where the wicks need to go. You can be, you know, they, they give you some wiggle room in this. So I don't have to be so precise with it. Every other time since the very first time, it's just been wicking, 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 wicking. Wicking. I still kind of can't get over how smooth this top down airflow is. I mean, it is very smooth, and the flavor in this is very good. I've just been a fan of single coil RTAs lately, and the Blaze Solo kind of came at just the perfect time when I'm all about single coil RTAs right now and just fits right in there and goes, hey, look, you're gonna start using me whether you like it or not. Thanks a lot.
lot, Mike Vapes. Also, between my walk between the smoke detector and this desk, I realized I never tried or reviewed the original Blaze RTA. This is my first Blaze experience. It's just a damn good solid banger. It's not anything like revolutionary, you know? It's nothing we haven't seen before. It's just really damn good. And I'm just an overall big fan of rebuildable stuff coming out in 2023. Let's go. I truly and honestly don't think there's ever been a Mike Vapes product that I haven't kind of thoroughly loved. His products always rank really high. Like I said, this isn't anything revolutionary, but I don't see it why, it, you know, but I don't see why it shouldn't also rank really high because it's really well made and very well thought out and works as advertised and does everything that I want it to, including delivering me good flavor. Okay, nine and a half banana stickers. Why the half? I don't know. I'm a wild card, baby. I guess the half would really be because it is possible, as I've demonstrated, to overwick this and just have dry hit after dry hit and you know it's happening and, and I can feel the wick going dry and I go, no, I put too much cotton in there. Do have the ability to do that. That's why the nine and a half banana stickers. Anyway, here's the end of the video. I can't tell you how much these cost or where to get them, but I can tell you this. If you're a person who currently smokes cigarettes, hey, Maybe you don't need to. It's 2023, better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market for you in the description of this video. I'm gonna put links to Just Science and Just Education. Yeah, this has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 